What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here and today I am going to show you the best DNS settings for your PlayStation 5 in 2025. So let's get right into this. So if you want the best DNS settings to be able to like increase your download speeds or just not have network issues anymore, you come to the right place. So what you want to do is you want to go to settings, you want to go to internet network and I'm going to show you basically what to even do to change your DNS settings and then give you a list of the best DNS settings available. You want to then go to settings, set up internet connection and you want to go into here. So you want to go over into advanced settings and over here you'll see something called DNS settings. Yours will be on automatic and you want to change this into manual. Once you do that, you want to change. So the one I have right now, it's Cloudflares. This is to me the best one. It works best. It gives me the least uh, errors. So this is 1.1.1.1 for the primary and secondary is 1.0.0.1. You could also try Google's, which is what a lot of people tend to opt for, which is 8.8.8.8 for primary and 8.8.4.4 for secondary. Now, there is a lot, a lot, a lot more of DNS servers that you can use. And there's private ones, there's free public ones as well. The list I'll give you is the free public ones. Now this varies per region and section you're in, like even even like within the US itself, for example, if you're in North America or South, uh, or like, uh, sorry, the Northeastern region or the Western region or the Southern region, like it, these matter actually on where you are. So you want to actually be cognizant on which one you want to use for. Generally, a blanket one does work like Cloudflare or Google's. But if you're like in a different Asia and even subsections of Asia and even specific countries, cities and states or states and cities, I should say, it actually varies. So you want to kind of go with that. I'll, like I said, I'll provide a list of the best ones you should be using, which gives you the best network capacity basically but i wanted to kind of give you a perspective like you will like have to kind of especially if you're not from the u.s dive into this listing and get the best one for you but again what i'm giving is essentially a good chunk of the folks which should be able to use this and be good to go so yeah that's basically it if you guys still have any comments questions or concerns just let me know in the comment section below more than hope you guys up if you guys are over the video please smash that like button so if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe click that notification bell and then mug me out